Airway obstruction or choking can cause death within minutes. Coughing is nature's way of clearing the patient's airway. If a choking patient is coughing, do not interfere and encourage him or her to keep coughing until the airway is clear. This is called a partial airway obstruction. If, however, a choking patient cannot breathe or cough, it is a complete airway obstruction and the patient requires immediate assistance. The patient may grab the neck with one or both hands, making the universal choking sign. You must act now to clear the airway. The airway may be cleared by two methods, back blows or abdominal thrusts. Back blows should always be attempted first as they cause little or no harm, whereas abdominal thrusts may cause internal injuries. When providing back blows, stand behind the patient and tilt the patient forward. Support the patient in front with one hand. With an upward direction, strike the patient between the shoulder blades with the heel of the other hand. This should be performed as forcefully as possible. If the object is not removed, continue to give back blows for four more times, checking for success between blows. If back blows are unsuccessful, you will have to resort to abdominal thrusts. Stand behind the patient and place both your arms around the patient's abdomen. Locate the patient's navel, halfway between the waistline and the breastbone. Place the fist of one hand just above it. Grab your fist with your other hand and give a quick forceful inward and upward thrust. If the object is not removed, continue abdominal thrusts four more times checking for success between thrusts. If the abdominal thrusts are unsuccessful, revert to back blows. Repeat the sequence of five back blows and five abdominal thrusts until the obstruction is expelled or the patient becomes unresponsive. If your attempts to relieve choking are unsuccessful, or the patient becomes unresponsive, send someone to activate the emergency medical system by calling 112 or 999 and get an AED. When the patient becomes unresponsive, perform one cycle of CPR. Each time you open the airway to give rescue breaths, Look for the obstructing object in the back of the throat. If you see an object, try to remove it. If unsuccessful, continue CPR one cycle at a time, then check for the object. For a large patient or a patient in the late stages of pregnancy, use chest thrusts instead of abdominal thrusts. Stand behind the patient and place your arms and hands on the chest instead of the abdomen. If abdominal thrusts are used to clear an obstructed airway, the patient should always be examined by a doctor. Your instructor will now take you through the steps of foreign body airway obstruction procedure in your groups.